Hello students, my name is Santosh. So in this video, we're going to look at get excellent question from signals and systems from the topic of LTA systems and Fourier transform. First of all, let us read the question. A continuous time signal x of t is equal to 4 cos 200 pi t plus 8 cos 400 pi t. So the question x of t is an input which is given to be 4 cos 200 pi t plus 8 cos 400 pi t where t is in seconds is the input to the LTI filter with impulse response so the impulse response of the LTI filter has been given so we are having an LTI system which is fucking functioning as a filter so the input is already given and h of t is also given the h of t is equal to 2 sin 300 pi t divided by pi t for t not equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 for t equal to 0 right let y of t be the output of this filter so the output is represented by y of t now the question is that the maximum value of mod of y of t is dash so we have to find the maximum value of mod of y of t and the reason why this question has been excellent is because this question requires two topics one about the knowledge about LTA systems which is convolution convolution is the way we can find out the output y of t from x of t and h of t but we cannot only use the LTA systems we should always also use the concept of Fourier transform so what is the input the input is having two sinusoids two cosine functions right so we should know how to represent this particular function using the Fourier transform because we know using Fourier transform we can convert the convolution into the multiplication so we have a property that if you are having an x of t which is having the Fourier transform as x of omega then h of t having the Fourier transform as h of omega then x of t convolved with of h of t gives you what? it gives you x of omega multiplied by the h of omega x of t convolved with h of t gives you the Fourier transform as x of omega multiplied by the h of omega so right once you have a cosine function this is also a basic thing we discuss in the case of a Fourier transform once you have a function cos omega t whose amplitude peak is a then its Fourier transform is given by a pi multiplied by del of omega minus let us take the in frequency to be omega naught omega minus omega naught plus del of omega plus omega naught this is how we represent the particular cosine in terms of the frequency domain using the concept of Fourier transform so here to have a pictorial representation of the Fourier transform it is going to be omega this is the frequency domain so basically we are plotting the magnitude here we are having two impulses one at omega is equal to omega naught at omega is equal to omega naught the other at omega is equal to minus omega naught right so what is the amplitude the amplitude here is a pi and a pi this is one of the basic which is required to solve this particular problem so here we are having two such frequencies one at 200 pi the other at 400 pi so let me consider two frequencies one at 200 pi the other at 400 pi so we are considering two frequencies one at 200 pi with the amplitude of 4 pi the other at 800 pi I mean 400 pi with the amplitude of 8 pi its mirror image will also be there as we have seen minus 400 minus 200 pi minus 400 pi 
and the amplitudes here are 4 pi and 8 pi. So this is nothing but x of omega. x of omega. Can we also plot the h of omega? h of t is already given. So you can see h of t is equal to the top. If I multiply and divide with the top 300, it is going to be 600. We can write sine t by t as equal to sa of t. So it is going to be sa of 300 pi t. Whose Fourier transform? We have learned in the class how to write a Fourier transform for a sa function. It's going to be a gate function always. This function multiplied by 2, 600 pi. The area is 600. So 1 pi pi, duality 2 pi of omega. So you have 2 gate function 600 pi of omega. This will be your frequency response of the system. H of t, the impulse response, is going to give you the Fourier transform as a frequency response of the system, which is given by a gate function, which is 600 pi. We know the gate function here is going to be symmetrical from minus 300 pi to 300 pi. So let us draw the gate function from minus 300 pi to 300 pi. Minus 300 pi to 300 pi. So how we got this, we have already discussed in the class. So therefore here we will have 2 as the amplitude. So this is our frequency response. So what is the output response? The output is going to be the multiplication of these two. Output is going to be the multiplication of these two. Which will be. See you are multiplying till minus 300 pi to 300 pi. You are multiplying 2. So what happens? 2 multiplied by 4 pi. It becomes 8 pi. at minus 200 pi and the same 8 pi at 200 pi. So this is our output frequency domain. Y of omega. What is the inverse Fourier transform? The inverse Fourier transform of this function is going to be 8 cos 200 pi t. Right, so 4 cos 200 pi t is split in terms of frequency domain at 200 pi and minus 200 pi. 400 pi t with the amplitude of 8 as written as 8 pi 8 pi 400 pi minus 400 pi. So if you are having 8 pi and 8 pi amplitudes at the frequencies of minus 200 pi and 200 pi, what I am doing here, I am writing it as 8 multiplied by cos of 200 pi, cos of 200 pi t. So this is your output y of t. This is the reason why we are calling it as a filter. What it is doing? We are having two frequencies. One at 200 pi, the other at 400 pi. These are just the mirror images. We are considering this only for the mathematical symmetry. There is no other reason. So you are having the frequencies of 200 pi and 400 pi. So what is this doing? The impulse response frequency domain is going to filter out the frequency which is 400 pi. And it is only going to give us the frequency which is 200 pi. Right, so your output y of t is going to be 8 cos 200 pi t. So what is the magnitude of the maximum value? The magnitude of the maximum value is simply going to be the value which is 8. The maximum value is going to be its peak value which is 8. So the answer for this question is 8. Okay, so the beauty of this question is that it is using two concepts. One is LTA concept where you know that output y of t is going to be x of t converted with y of t sorry, x of t converted with of h of t, but you should also know about the frequency domain concept which is the Fourier transform to solve this particular problem. Thank you for listening to this lecture. Keep watching.